Elections on Saturday in Kogi State and Bayelsa State, according to various videos shared online, were marred with violence. Online, online reports suggest that the elections were not free nor fair at all. Ballot boxes uh, were stolen anyhow, gunshots everywhere, voters uh, being chased away. Uh, wow. Thugs in police uniform reportedly invade, invaded some of the wards uh, in local Jakogi state and successfully cutted away eight ballot boxes after sporadic shooting. Also, the Nigeria police has also confirmed the death of three persons during the governorship election that held in Kogi on Saturday. Okay, so we'll begin with uh, Kogi elections. Let's go see how things went down in Kogi State. We'll be back. Welcome back. All right, gentlemen, let's talk about the, uh, the image of our elections as, as a country. You know, online, a lot of people are actually talking about this using the Kogi and Bayelsa state elections as a case in study that no free and fair elections, you know, can happen in Nigeria again. Uh, since after the MKO Abiola's election. Uh, <laughs> is it beginning to look like that, in your opinion, seeing what we've seen so far this past weekend? Well, these are isolated cases. So okay. I would not want to make a, you know, a blanket a statement. Blanket statement. So okay. That would be dangerous. Mm. Well, these are the reasons why the turnout is really lower than 30% mm. in some areas. Mm. Except areas where you know what is happening. Mm. We have a lot of votes will come in mm. that cannot be accounted for. But the general trend will be throughout our election has been between 25 and 40 percent. Mm. And these are reasons why. And then somebody will tell you that, okay, the majority of the minority that has been elected based on the fact that they did not come out to vote. And then, therefore, there's a, a part of the electoral act that says that there are violence, you cancel it. Mm -hmm. Which gives room for somebody who is aware he's going to lose to simply attack the uh, stronghold of his opponent mm. and make sure the the result is council with diarrhea. Mm. So we have a long way to go, like you said. Mm. We, still have to, we keep making laws, they keep breaking them. Mm. And there are no the, consequences. Uh, even the consequences are laughable. Okay. Because nobody has been jailed, nobody has, nobody has been shot, mm. nobody has been put up as an example. Mm. No governor has been arrested. Mm. A, the age of the state will simply put in no prosecute. And the matter will go back as usual. Okay. All right, Mr. Fosse, do you think a free and fair election is achievable <laughs> anymore in Nigeria? talking about free and fair election. You have not even talked about 
how to conduct election. We are talking about free and fair election. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why we you just don't. conducted one. That, 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 was, that was my election. Well, I don't know whatever I told you deduced from it. Mm. I, I am saying here that today, Nigeria has never conducted an election. In fact, the one on Saturday, the last Saturday, mm. is, a, is, a, is a shameful, it's so shameful that even Mr. President, who woke up this morning to issue a statement congratulating somebody who has won that election, I don't know what to say. I don't know. See, we are here talking today. Mr. President quickly signed Not Too Young to Rule bill, bill mm. into law. Mm. He refused to sign electoral bill. Mm. Now, the time is going. Why can't we have a system that will eliminate, if not totally, at least 70 percent paper voting? Why don't we have that? Because that's where the problem is. That is where the problem is. And again, we have also also understand that why we are having this kind of Gerard call election, that is why we Nigeria will continue to move backward because decent people will not want to come in risk and their contest, lives, of contest election in this kind of atmosphere. Mm. And you always have bad guys mm. who think they have the money to buy guns, equip boys coming out to lead. Mm. Now tell me, well, if, if it's the Arabino that wins, I just read that, that uh, um, INEC has actually declared it now after the, the, they've counted the, the two local government that, was, that, were left. Uh, mm. that were left. And Leon, tell me any Bayasan and any uh, uh, Kogites. Go, Kogites or whatever they call will say, I owe you responsible, I voted you. Because they know, the leaders know that you didn't vote them. They know that if they have allowed you to vote them, they will not be where they are today. You are a very important constant. You know, sir? So, we can't hold our leaders responsible because we didn't vote them. Mm. They voted themselves in. They manipulated themselves into power. Therefore, we cannot tell them, this is what you can do for me. Mm. You must be. You must be. Okay. So, at the end of the day, I think the onus is of Mr. President right now to do the needful before he Mr. President does not have any additional term. In office officially this is officially this is his last time in office if you want to bequeath anything to this country you should sign that bill and and and, and let us recreate our electoral system okay. together all right uh, mr shopiton you also agree that elections wasn't fair uh, free and fair you know as reported on social media you can see all this all that, yeah. case, i mean uh. the, the, the whole thing is so laughable i mean if it's not so tragic because I saw two statements on the internet. Mm -hmm. One, Wada conceding defeat. And then coming and out to say. Congratulating the other person. But he's come out to say that was not the Wada congratulating the other the other local government, INEC was still counting when we were getting all these results. So, I think the. The bottom line is that it should make being in governance less attractive. Of course, sense. of course. Let us reduce oh. the perks attached to all this. Ah. Mm -hmm. If you are will, if you are coming to serve us, why do you want to kill us first before you now come? So let us review the entire um, uh, compensation system. Mm. Mr. Shokuton, why would somebody not want to kill if on the eve of the election? The federal government released 10 billion, 10 billion. Okay. to a state government. Uh, uh, Why won't he kill? Uh, uh, Why won't some people want that's to want to do that? We'll get to that, but can I ask no, 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 can no, I no, the things that a quick question? Okay, can right. I ask a quick question? Right. You know, uh, with all of the violence, you know, we saw in both states, you know, over the weekend and all of that, um, is it proper that INEC, despite all of the violence recorded, went ahead, and you know, to, to announce uh, results? Well, we've been here before, I'm sure you know. I know. There are some states, I think 2015 or thereabouts, uh -huh. where there was substantial uh -huh. uh, disruption to voting. And then they still uh, announced the results. And then the court decided that he doesn't think that the disruption was substantial enough mm. for them not to declare. Mm. Mm. So it's part of the intricacies that make things don't work in this country. Mm. So uh, they will declare it because they yeah. have the legal back. Wow. Whether they have the moral right is another thing entirely. Mm. But legally they will declare once it has not affected it substantially. Is the definition of substantiality that's the problem. Mm. 
Okay. All right, Mr. Shokuto, you were saying something. No, that's what I mean. That's all I needed to say that we need to really make being in office less attractive. Attractive. Okay. You know, yeah, that's yeah, the bottom line. Yeah, because uh, I think I said on this program before, the older man, that's the councillor for Westlake, my my area in Indiana. Okay. This guy is a baba. Okay. That's his job. That is the job. Mm. Okay. But he's the older man for the county. Mm. So he's because everybody knows who he is. That's his job. And that is what he does. He only goes for sitting it's maybe twice a month mm -hmm. at the same sitting allowance. And then he comes back from the future. And that's the lowest level of government. Yes, yes. I mean, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Until we really do something about this, we are wasting our time. You see, patients, mm -hmm. we don't need to run away from the key issues. We have to address this problem. We have to address it from the roots. The root is that our electoral act is faulty. Too much. It's very faulty. And when all of this is, see, the person that is winning today is celebrating. He may be the victim tomorrow. He will cry. The more we continue to turn a blind eye at what is wrong, we are going to be where we are. In fact, go back. If you look at since 2015 till now, every election has got from back to worse, from worse to worse. Mm. We are not improving from 2015. Mm. We are not improving. Okay. All right. One of the persons who came out online to actually condemn uh, in totality this last election is Senator Dino Milai. Uh, he rejected the results of the rerun election, which held on Saturday. He described the election as a helicopter election and told newsmen that it was marred by compromise, extreme violence, and rigging. According to Dino, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, should have stopped the collation of results following the violence recorded in the elections. Let's go and hear it from Tino. What's this? With the computation of these uh, results, one cannot understand. I've never seen this type of election in my life. Where you will go with your, but your, your results sheets from pulling units and already there is a prepared uh, result at the local government coalition office and all the returning officers compromised how can you in a situation like this declare the results as i speak to you all the cancelled votes are over seventy thousand, and the margin of the concorded winning can never be up can never be up to fifteen thousand or twenty thousand at most and the electoral act and the manual election manual of INEC said anywhere that council votes is more than the difference the winning difference that that election should be declared inconclusive as i'm speaking to you they are still going ahead with their concussion in an environment that was militarized where voters were disenfranchised where you are using a helicopter where policemen or fake or original we don't know we are physically harassing and taking ballot boxes videos have been posted INEC is still continuing with uh, computation of results in such, in such atmosphere. We will not accept this. This is not an election. We posted all and we have records of all our, our, our votes that we have won clearly. But we will not take it. I mean, the blood of those who have been killed in the election yesterday right in the defense of the masses of Kogi State. Okay, that's Senator uh, Dino Melai. Now, Kogi West senatorial election, uh, the same one uh, Dino was contesting for actually has been declared inconclusive by INEC. A new date for the supplementary election in the 53 polling units uh, uh, will be announced and uh, before a winner can be returned. Uh, this came after Dino, you know, actually rejected uh, the results. Now, uh, <laughs> You know, for every single time we have an election in this country, you know, then everybody comes back online, you know, venting and rejecting and every other thing. Um, is it that we have uh, politicians who believe they must win or is it still a function of the faulty electoral process? Uh, it's in our stars. Okay, God, you take this. Mm. 
I think um, when you have a faulty foundation, mm -hmm. you have already given exactly. room for people for to For every other thing, okay. You see, um, I have never seen anyone who will face the ATM and be quarreling, you take my money. What happens is that if you put your, if they don't have a disabling stuff, the reversal for the, if, it, if you put your ATM and it doesn't give you the money, you go to your bank with the time and the bank will revert your money. Mm. As simple as that, nobody will quarrel. And I feel that that is how electoral process should be. Look, I have seen even on internet that if you say you can't vote more than once, if you try from now to tomorrow, as long as you use the same email mm -hmm. that you have, you cannot vote more than once. You get to. Cannot vote more than once. And why can't we begin to work towards that? Now, you are giving people the opportunity to always say, no, that election was not fair and fair. When you have the opportunity to tell them that this is, this is people that vote for you, you can see there, and you keep quiet, and you just hug your brother and walk away. Again, like Mr. Shokuton said, we also have to begin to make our electoral offices look oh, very right. less attractive. Okay. You understand? My question is, how on earth would the federal government sit down and it's a national assembly and approve 10 billion naira to a governor a week to the election? Mm. Now, what that means is that if you are a governor tomorrow, you can actually do that and make so much money from it. And you can't tell me the 10 billion naira given out will not be spent on the election. This is a, this is a it is very owing, true. Owing civil and that ten billion so naira, and that ten billion naira was supposed to be for infrastructure, de for social development, no, and every other salary. Payment. Why would you now release that money on and the people? Okay, yeah. let me take it from where Mr. Godi, you know, has brought us uh, the issue of the ten billion uh, released uh, to Yahya Bill. Uh, yes, approved. You know, well, if you prefer to use the word approved, uh, just a few days to the election, and also. Um, we saw at the rally, uh, El Rufai going down on his knees to actually beg uh, the people of Kogi State for vote and all of that. People on social media are, you know, actually describing all of that as desperate moves uh, to actually keep Belo in office. Uh, are these acceptable campaign methods? Uh, do they comply you know, with international best practices? Remember that Belo himself is a the beneficiary of a steward system. Yeah. Yes. He never contested. Yes. He yes. has moved to another party. Mm. So he did not owe the people of Kogi anything. Anything. Yeah, they didn't, he was not the one that came to them. He was not the one they voted for. I beg to differ on that. I beg to differ on the fact that he doesn't owe the Kogi people oh, anything. Oh, hold on. I get what you mean. He wasn't elected into office. Uh -huh. But you are the sitting governor. Mm. Uh-huh. How many of them see This that government has shown a total lack of respect. For the people of Kogi states. Nobody has denied that. Belo has dealt with them as conquer slaves. Hmm. He has dealt with them as what they are, what people call serfs. Hmm. That's how bad things are. If I know people in Kogi that have not been able to feed their families for months. And for Belo to come back and win means that the social media campaign hmm. to, to raise money for people of Kogi should not, they should not come back to us and tell us they want money. Because hmm. they pick their tents and they must live with it. Wow. About the 10 billion, that of course is another show of what we know when I talk about impunity. Mm -hmm. People just assume mm. that nothing will happen. Mm. Ultimately, something will happen. One mm. way or the other. Okay. Let's look at viewers' response. What do you expect when votes were robbed? on gunpoint uh, we are being ruled by pure armed robbers god help niger uh these people are taking nigeria for granted all right this other one says um please once again the only solution to our election in nigeria is to go digital which is electronic voting uh, good afternoon to you all my name is pious please this video is to remind our government officials who want to stop social media if not for social media how are we going to see all this assault i think that one is talking about the footer uh chief for uh made a short contribution he says shameful elections this other one says i really love your program madam those students mentioned earlier on should be expelled from school to teach them a lesson and for others too i also enjoy your movies at night because they are so interesting <laughs> but but since you guys close by 12 p.m 
for us to enjoy the movie fully, try to start our movies on time and end it before. Okay, uh, don't worry, I'll send your text to the right quarters. <laughs> Thank you. All right, this other one says, what is going on in this Nigeria are we safe in the next general elections with all this we are seeing? Where is our security men? Only two states. Our security men cannot secure these two states for fire and free, oh. for fair and free election. What about the general one? Are we safe? What is going to happen? God help us. So John from Agbado Crossing. Now that is a very valid question. Where were all the security people you know that were this. supposed to be on ground? 35,000. Over 60,000 uh, 60, in two states. In two states. Just and, two states. And um, I listened to one Esther Uzoma this morning, mm -hmm. who's a co convener of the um, electoral situation room, mm. uh, sp uh, spoke from um, um, Kogi State this morning. Mm. I'm qu uh, actually calling for INEC to annul that elections, that there was no voting across Kogi State, mm -hmm. that all the results that INEC is declaring are purchased results, and um, the walk around, even talks came in from in those states, according to what this morning from a radio program, talks came in from from in those states, and they were asked, why are you here? He said they were brought in to do their business, young boys from 17 to 25. You can imagine that. And if you are fighting so hard to lead people, would you actually lead people? Mm. That is my question. Some of these guys that are wanting to be governors of the state, they cannot be a, a, an MD of a microfinance bank. Mm. They cannot successfully run a microfinance bank. Mm. Just because there is free money. And that is why the, the day we sit down, we have political will to say that we are going to implement electronic voting in Nigeria. All of these guys will fizzle out. They will go away. Because you and I will know that if Akogun come out, and we know that Akogun has the best of character, and Mr. Shokmiton is one of those people who have better money in CBN, we are not going to vote for him. Even if he drop his money on the table, we will collect it, and on the day we exercise our franchise. Without him molesting us, because we will not even have any way to molest. Okay, okay, all right. You, you, you. No, I, I think we need to. I don't know how we are going to, but the earlier we adopt electronic voting, the better for all of us. Somebody has actually suggested that the national registration thing, maybe the national um, ID card, uh, yes, national identity card thing, mm. should be hastened up so that every Nigerian will have, have one. Mm. And then from there, we can use that as our voting something. Because okay. the way things are going now is dreadful. Okay. All right. We're still going to come back after the news break, and then we'll be looking at what went down in Bielsa State. Uh, but uh, for now, let's quickly show you this video. Opinions actually are divided on social media as uh, Senator Dino Melai uh, paid a woman to fry Akara and shared to voters on Saturday. <laughs> Eyewitnesses revealed uh, <laughs> that the woman was actually already <laughs> she was already frying Akara near the voting area. Yeah, when she was approached by Dino mm -hmm. and uh, he gave her more money, you know, to actually make yes. the Akara go yeah. around uh, for, know, that's free right, for all of the voters. All right, we'll take that video, then we go on the news break. When we come back, we'll continue with uh, the uh, just concluded uh, governorship election in both Kogi and Bios states. We'll be right back. All right, we're told we have a few more minutes before the news, so let's look at feedbacks coming in. Um, 
This other, wow, this one says, I'm in support of that movie theme. Please never start what you will never finish. Noted. We will we, we'll send <laughs> that's, you. That's, 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 that's what that's <laughs> All right, Debbie says, shameful election. May God help us. Amen. All right, this other one says, it's so disheartening to hear and see what's happening in Nigerian elections. Uh, good afternoon, patience. It's a pity that President Buhari is in charge of security in this country because the change and next level we experience is destructive and disastrous for people's lives and is not value for, for people's life is not valued for winning election sake. God bless Nigeria and you people. I weep for my dear country, Nigeria. Would I next say it's a fair and credible election? Because there's so much money in Nigerian polity. When a school starts, ends millions and bona fide graduates don't even have jobs. Anyone that is there is deadly. One quick last one before we take the break. This is not election, but violence. All right, we discussed in the Kogi Bayelsa elections that took place on Saturday. International observers who observed uh, the elections in both Bayelsa and Kogi State on Saturday have expressed concerns about the conduct and conditions under which the elections held. The observers in a joint statement issued under the auspices of the diplomatic watch raised alarm over the reports of widespread incidents of violence and intimidation, some of which were witnessed by the teams in Kogi State. And of course, the diplomatic watch comprises of observers from Aust Austria, the European Union delegation, Germany, Ireland, the Netherlands, the United Kingdom, and the United States. So uh, even the international community has condemned, you know, uh, last Saturday's elections in strong terms. Now let's go to Bayosa State uh, for a bit now. Former President Good Luck Abele Jonathan, of course, questioned the late arrival of voting materials, you know, to his uh, hometown in Otuoke, you know, right there. He was there twice before he could manage, you know, to oh, actually yes. cast his vote. Isn't this an indictment on INEC in some sort of way? Well, indictments and INEC are not to be mentioned <laughs> in the same in sentence. The same sentence. <laughs> okay. They've been indicted so many times. And no, nothing no, came out of it. No, no, I don't water. Okay. I think what we, where we are right now is the fact that, like God said, and like Baba said, mm. we still have not mastered the logistics issue. Mm. That's purely professional part of election management. Mm -hmm. We failed in every uh, material particular. And that to me is a tragedy. Mm -hmm. Forget those who snatch boxes. Forget those who do violence. Mm -hmm. Even normal logistical... The preparedness support, of INEC you know, for the elections. And do the job. Yes. It's missing. Mm. <laughs> and uh, it's, that's one major area we are very ashamed mm. as in Nigeria. Because mm. if we are blaming the politicians for doing what they do best, what about people who are employed? Who the job with to, one core responsibility, yeah, which is to every other four years to make yeah year. exactly they could not even get out for a state as small as as Bayasa. Bayasa, 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 local government. I mean, it's, it's, local government with a very it's, terrible um, yeah. uh, 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 anyway. Yeah. Mm. I, I, again, um, you may not um, overtly um, criticize in it. Um, from the report I got this morning, um, is that um, at some point the the association of marine, uh, those who have boats in river states and those who have vehicles, right, yeah. so that that INEC rely on to move uh, uh, materials. these materials. Uh, they were mobilized with at least sixty percent, and a, a certain political party came and paid them almost about hundred percent in full and asked them not to go, and all of a sudden they stopped going and. INE couldn't move materials to those places anymore. And mm. again, speaking on um, um, former President Goodlord Jonathan, he's not a stranger to uh, um, late voting. Even in 2015, in his own election that he conducted, Card couldn't read his fingerprints um, and the rest of things. So I, I feel it still boils down to the fact that we, we still have a lot to do. Um, Can I take you up on your earlier statements? Okay. Uh, the allegation that a certain party came paid off, yes. you know, the transport, whatever, yes. so they don't move electoral materials. Where don't forget, this, this allegation came it, from observers. From observers. Yes. Allegation. Yes. Isn't that enough reason to instantly Can't disqualify, you know, such a party from an election? Because yes. you're working against the smooth flow of an election. And that brings me to the fact that 
uh, Inek Anza also died. Don't also forget that Inek is an agency of government. It's funded by government of the so, day. It's not funded. I'm coming, sir. It's not funded by a donor in America, or whatever. So you you still feel that there is this, this strong influence of government on mm. Inek, whatever. I am not telling you here that they have been compromised, but I am telling you because these are the government people. All right. Now, if Inek wants to do something, Inek has a record of not fulfilling his own bargain. Hmm. Forget, um, in 2019 election, Inek are still owing some youth service, youth, uh, youth coppers that work for that election for them. Now, if those guys had needed to build those things, what Inek needed to do is to pay them in full. No in full, those guys, no in full were that when the election is over, Inek has disappeared. It's not a human being that you can go and owe somebody responsible. I hear that. So, they capitalized on what they saw at that time. Hmm. That means that the, in terms of logistics, we are still not getting there. We still rely on NUWT, whatever they call them, to move electoral materials. And more, you know that NUWT, they are also very entrenched in the Nigerian political ecosystem. They are, they are members of these political parties. So you don't expect them to discharge their duty patriotically. Okay, so if government who by themselves, you know, uh, arrange for elections uh, to be done because we need it, are the same people who work against the smooth flow of these elections, then what is the hope of the average Nigerian on our democracy? Let's go and see what happened in Bayelsa. We'll be right back. Calm down, 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 Glory, they are with them. I go find mommy. They are with them. was war indeed. We keep blaming INEC. Don't we think the people also has a role to play by changing their mindsets towards being used for negative reasons during elections? Change begins with us. God save Nigeria. All right, this other one says INEC is not an independent body. It is APC's machinery to help put their selected candidates into power, while the police and other uniformed personnel are aiding the highest bidder to win acclaimed elections. Kalu sends that one in. Good afternoon, madam. We really enjoy your program. Thank you. Buhari's government is still the worst ever government since I've been born into this life. All elections that was conducted right from his government were all rough, unfair, do or die, intimidation and killing, uh, especially Oshun election and this Kogi election. Go to Agbara to Badagri, you will see 20 police checkpoints collecting 100 naira from motorists and also giving them change in case they don't have change and nobody's challenging them. All this happening during this government. Prophet John sent that one in. All right, people of Nigeria should stop going for voting because they are wasting their time. Mm -hmm. Your votes are not counting. Uh, okay, I skipped the last part of that message. <laughs> Good afternoon, madam and gentlemen. I'm Oye, Oye Kwelu Charles. Uh, I'm not against any individual, but APC's victory in Kogi is really a big shock to me to be told that the people who are starving for years before now due to unpaid salaries and pensions went out to vote the same sitting governor. Osho state elections were declared inconclusive by INEC and Kogi and Bayelsa were declared free and fair despite the killings and snatching of ballot boxes. Can any of you tell us the differences, Ma? I hope that is noted. I wonder how PVC works in Nigeria. Where 
Then Vote does not that. count. Kogi and Bayelsa with government in power are failure. Olaleye Ademola from Ikorodo. All right, the question I want to ask is that the 10 billion naira approved for Kogi State release, look at what happened in Bayelsa. Even if there is no violence, the PDP will still lose the election because the PDP is already in disarray since the handpick of the candidate by the governor. Okay, let me read one last one so we can continue. Madam, until education is allowed to rule Nigeria completely, whereby electronic voting will be used to determine winner in any election before we can have a better Nigeria and safeguard our interest in this country. Okay, thank you everyone. But where is our hope in this democracy, going by what we saw on Saturday? Well, I think I'm going to lose the... Call powerful mm. a scenario basically. As when it comes to the bias election, mm. I think it reflects more the views of the people than I even thought. Because I know from a personal interaction with a lot of biasers mm -hmm. that they were fed up <coughs> with the style of the governor. But I never thought the loss would be this massive. Mm. I thought it was a little bit closer, you know, uh, yeah. 55 45. Okay. But this is a route. Mm. In more ways than one. Mm. And, uh, I'm sure you don't then, want to use the, the word landslide. No, no, no. You <laughs> 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 That, that English, English is obsolete. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Go ahead. I think, uh, apart from the nuances mm. that didn't work, mm. I think on the average, uh, the result in Bayesa reflects the will of the people. Okay. I can't say the same thing for Kogi. For Kogi. Yes. Mm. Okay. I, I feel, um, despite some pocket of um, violence, um, shooting, pre-elections, during the elections, crisis in um, at Bayelsa State, I still believe that um, um, the handwriting was already on the wall that the Seriki Dixons and candidate may not make a headway. Um, going by uh, those people that pull out, um, you could have, we cannot have um, Ms., um, former President Gulo Jonathan can't be. The father of the party yes. in 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 Bayelsa State, mm. and it's not at your campaign mm. when you are campaigning under his party. Mm. Um, uh, if you know the, the state closest to Bayelsa is River State. They are like the same same year twins. It's like Akwaibom and mm. Cross River State. State. Okay. Uh, and there's nothing that goes on that Mwike will not have a say. Uh, if I, if you, you can see that he obviously kept quiet. And um, the likes of Timi Alaibe, those guys who who have um, some good political um, um, heavy chest to do some certain things, who, according to reports, the person that uh, former president was actually rooting for, were all backed out. And you know that the, you begin to see that um, even from the um, former president's community, they, they want PDP not to come. Mm. Um, the, the, the real father there will not see the candidate. So the handwriting was already on the wall. Okay. So their, their, their loss in Bayasa is not a surprise anyway. Mm. Though you could see blame because despite that, you still see some pocket of violence, shooting. You saw it there. Uh, shooting, every people running, guns everywhere. Even <coughs> I remember in Nembe before the elections, the final day of the campaign when the PDP, when they saw what happened, about two people died and the rest of it. So when you look at all of those you still boil down to the fact that the, there is problem in our electoral system, mm. which we have to address. Okay. The, the situation where we need to go and queue, people don't queue anymore. Look, I am look all these things. They are. You let, can cast your vote and let, go let back me, to let work. Me, let me just see. You know? For some of you that are not following what is happening in Bolivia, mm. a president that has been voted in has run away and left the office yes. because of because, the protest. Yeah. Time is coming. If you think you can rig yourself into office and sit back and enjoy. People, you see, you cannot just come out and kill all of us mm. in one swap. Something like that will happen someday. Okay. All right, Mr. Shokwito. No, is our you. PVC still powerful? Seeing that it's a waste of money. Votes that was, don't the really wasted count money on it. That was, uh, it's that was then. Mm. That was then. Now, mm. the issue really is that, well, we haven't seen the end of this thing now because mm -hmm. this will now go to court. Of course. Uh -huh. Now the judiciary will now determine who the governor will. That is my problem. But nobody has lost in the last two years. <laughs> yes, that's the, tra that's the tragedy. So, you know, all these things really give me, I, it makes me so heartbroken. Mm. So, where does this, where is the future for this country? 
I mean, we, when we became independent in '60, we were there, flag, waving the flags, <laughs> and we're thinking that uh, the future was. You guys uh, ate, uh, Mr. Shogu, <laughs> you guys ate the good of the land and left it out for us. <laughs> It is you who started the, this uh, Yahoo Yahoo and other things. That was done in our time. I, I checked. Well, that Yahoo well, Yahoo has been there. Don't let us go back there. Don't Yahoo let us begin to call them. Yes, now. <laughs> Not the acts. Mm. So, it's why the politics gets to my, my, my fear, like I said, is that at the end of the day now, everybody will still go to court. And then the, the, the court will now decide, decide who the governor is going to be. And that's the tragedy. Let us... We are now in the twenty fact uh, okay, twenty first century. Let us go digital. What is whatever it is going to cost us? Let the I nine N I M C quicken is this registration. If it means having to have representation in each of the local governments, so that we can each of us will have an ID card, then that will be the basis of our the T V C is digital. It's not I mean it's no longer we're already doing digital but we cannot go the whole... I have not seen any chip on that yeah, panel. Yeah, because what we cannot do, and which we are, all of us are trying to run away from, is that mm. the figures are inflated. What? A real digitalization of our democracy mm. will mean we have to face the reality. I see. There were not as many... So, as ah, as we saw. If you are 10, it's 10 votes. Uh -huh. Do you understand? So you that's, know, that's but the candidates will break down, and then we now use manual uh, and There's okay. nothing like even candidate herself does not even work. Because <laughs> that's, that's I have not seen now. where, in all the cases that they were adjudicating on the, on the, on the appeal court and the um, um, tribunal, I have not seen where a candidate was standard to look at how many, how many, how many cards that. went into that place, yeah. what was the record on the paper. Those are the, the things that we need to If it's a, a candidate, he must have the number of cards. Of course. Right? Mm -hmm. So, why are we not making use of those things? Okay. We are just receiving ourselves patience. As long as I'm concerned, I have told myself that I am not going to contest any election in this country again until we do what we're supposed to do. Because I can't compete with that guy who is doing bunkering in the village that can pay 150000 to a delegate when I could only really pay 20000 People should just stay at home, but still they won't listen because of peanuts. They want to risk <laughs> when they start to work their lives. <laughs> we, the masses, don't help matters too. It's high time we stand on our right. Good afternoon, madam. Where are we heading to in this country? I support the man that suggested political benefits be drastically reduced to their approved minimal wages. Then we will have well-trained men and women in politics. God help Nigeria. Clear signs of worse things to happen come 2023 general elections. Politicians in Nigeria are too mean. They can go any length to gain or retain power at all costs. Dr. Oladosu Solomon sent that one in. The outcome of the elections in Bayelsa State is actually the will of the people. Despite the fact that the build-up to the elections were marred with violence, the will of the people will always overpower that of an individual who thinks he controls power. Joel from Bayelsa State. Since I was born into this great country, Nigeria, I have not seen a leadership like this one. How on earth? You are lucky. You've seen it now. How on earth can Yaya Velo, who was begging to be voted back when he could not pay salaries for over 38 months, win Kogi governorship election when the greater number of Kogites openly rejected him? In fact, this night Senate has proved to be a rubber stamp Senate to have approved over 10 billion naira to him so that he can share the money and help to rig the election against the will of the people. Kalu sent that one in. One quick last one. Good afternoon, patients. You people are doing a good job. Kogi State election is not free and fair. There are issues of vote buying and poli politicians should be cautioned. Matthew Ojochegbe from Niger State. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming out this afternoon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Godi. Mr. Thanks. President, please. Append your signature on that bill before you, that before is, it, it is too late. The, ele be, be precise about the bill. I mean the um, electoral bill. Okay. As amended. As amended. As amended. Yes. Okay. Thank you so 